Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level to go with alkalinity. Then you can generate static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Send attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. It is all there is to telepathy. You're now tuning in to great days. So today I'm going to go over uh, activating codons, turning on codons, upgrading codons. Okay, uh, within, within the genetic level, uh, opening up the DNA fluctuating uh, and traversing the cosmos through the biological network so let's get into this uh, so opening up the DNA opening up your DNA and activating codons upgrading codons which is carbon intelligence is a uh, very very simply done when the kundalini is opened or blossomed in the helical pattern the coiled kundalini at the base of the spine when it blossoms uncoils itself helically in a double helix it reflects a blossom or an opening throughout the entire genetic level so genetics is expression and form and uh, biological information, infinitesimal amounts of information is found within the genetics. So the moment that the genetics, the DNA begins to blossom, infinitesimal information begins to take fluctuation or begins to fluctuate. Right, so information, information is form. If you break down the word information, it's in form, right? So, so forming. Information allows us to sustain form or take form, right? So, so when the information begins to fluctuate, when the DNA begins to blossom in the helical fashion, from a petrified coiled state infinitesimal amounts of deeper form allows itself to uh, begin emanating or to begin taking its form the information is there it starts to open as there's more resonance with the with the uh, blossomed DNA so whenever you uh, connect yourself with nature and and resonate with the electromagnetic field the kundalini easily starts to uncoil unwind itself up the spine into the higher chakras the dna begins to blossom the information of the genetic level begins to fluctuate properly in resonation and uh synonymously the codons carbon intelligence begins to to excite, it begins to activate. You begin uh, unlocking abilities and whatnot. In the codons, there's a lot that is there's a lot that aren't active within, uh, quote unquote, the 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 normal or the average human being. But uh, you can go beyond what we're considering average or or the normacy, and you can actually activate the codons for yourself. The moment that you begin to uh, blossom the kundalini energy and with the activation of, of multiple codons that aren't activated already or already aren't in use because a lot are not in use when they begin turning on and 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 being used a lot begins to uh change in your perception and uh carbon intelligence begins to blossom in ways that you uh, didn't think it was 
able to, right? Uh, by the like, things like uh, be, like immunity, you know, uh, whenever your codons start to to activate and fluctuate and excite and excitement, you can grow immune to all diseases. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be HIV. It can be AIDS. It can be cancer. It can be herpes, diabetes. It doesn't matter what it is. If the codons are being excited, fluctuated, utilized, turned on, there's going to be an immunity to everything. That's one of the, the abilities that, that we innately have within the genetics. It's just that the genetics have been modified and suppressed and they're disresonant because they're reflecting the way that we're living in a lower dense petrified state of awareness but it can be open you can bring in resonation and uh, you can you can pick up these abilities supernatural abilities because they're supernatural they're natural to us but they are superbly natural they're innately natural it's immunity we all have this um, there's not only immunity though, there's plenty of different things. You know, telepathy could also be one, or telekinesis could be one of uh, the, the things that you can utilize if you begin to fluctuate on, on the codonic level, right? So, uh, open up the DNA connecting by connecting with nature and resonating with the electromagnetic field. And that's all there is to it. You grow more and more conscious of the process, and it um, it leads to liberation. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I do thank everybody for watching once again. Peace out, one love, and have a great evening.